Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version. This came out, I think, a few weeks ago, but the game originally released way back in the day in 2013. Uh, but the Ultra Deluxe version has added quite a few new things to it. Obviously, graphical improvements, but quite a new way, quite a new ways, quite a few new ways to play. Uh, basically, the, the game is crazy. And if you've never played it, you're in for a treat. It's one of the best games ever made as far as just being an interesting kind of experiment thing. And let's go ahead and get into this. We are playing on uh, the Steam version. I don't know if there's other st versions. I'm pretty sure there is. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. The end is never the end, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what you're going to learn today. This is the story of a man named Stanley. There you go. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good old Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. One of the best explorations of the free will paradox. Yeah, it's a very, very interesting game, and y'all will realize this as we kind of explore the game. It's what does that say? Uh, hate, I hate Mondays. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's one thing that we're going to do. I just want to increase the field of view ever so slightly and reduce the mouse's mouse sensitivity ever so slightly, and we should be Gucci. Oh yeah, that's that flows a little bit better. So we got room 429 right there. It's on the Switch too? Yeah, I believe it's on every platform. All of uh, but it wasn't were very gone. sure. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, the door Perhaps closed. Perhaps he simply missed a memo. Giving me Big Brother vibes. It's a little disconcerting how fast you move. <laughs> I wish I moved this fast. So we need to head to the meeting room. Definitely not going to 425. And it sure looks like people moved with a hurry out of this building. Tag, did you see the gameplay video that was released for Gotham Knights? I did not see the video, actually. Uh, what was it about? Does it look good? Okay, so we've got the left when door Stanley and the right came door. To a set of two open doors. Oh. He entered the door on his left. Mm, no, I mean that was the door. The weird thing is that was actually the door that I was going to to go into. But now I kind of want to like go against what the narrator is telling me to do because I feel like it's reading my mind. But we're gonna go left. All the doors close behind you. Makeup by Marie. How are you doing today? Many people have seen that don't know what the Stanley Parable is shocking, though in 2020, 2013 it was technically just an indie title. It didn't have the following it does now. That is true. Ooh. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, Rip hoping he might find an answer friends. there. <laughs> Rip a -rooski. So glad to spend time with this amazing community. I hope the fam had a blast on vacation. Ooh, using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Kai. I hope you're doing well. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. Also, I meant to have the face cam on today. Hold on. Hold the phone. 
I completely just didn't do things that I was supposed to do. All of the things that I was supposed to do. Been trying to get better at... Oh, it is kind of working. At having the face cam working. Oh god, everything's terrible. Ugh. I'm like that. Uh, boop, scooch, scooch. There we go. Tomorrow. Finally. Tomorrow. Gifted memberships. Coming to YouTube. I'll have a whole thing that'll be going on for tomorrow. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we will officially have gifted memberships or gifted, uh, yeah, gifted memberships on the channel. And there'll be a little bit of things that you'll have to do to be able to get gifted memberships. We'll go through all of that stuff tomorrow. But anyways, yeah. You're a circle, Harry. <laughs> um, so let's see what we got going on here. Gasp, finally? I know. I get, uh, I'm in the beta for the, uh, for the stuff. It comes, and it gets on the channel tomorrow. So, not cost efficient, paper synergizing. How to solve a d dispute with a coworker. Aw. Oh, I was gonna read that one. The broom closet. Oh, I can open the broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Are you sure there's nothing in here, though? Like, I feel like there's something in the broom closet. Like, there's definitely there a broom. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I don't know about that. Pesky little narrator. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. Fine. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> oh, they abbreviated it. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Why not? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> I don't know if something happens. I feel like something is going to happen if I just stay in here. I love this game. How are you? You do realize there's no choice or anything well. How are you? here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't I believe you could say mention it. I do not believe him. Do y'all believe him? Thumbs up if you believe him. Thumbs down if I should stay in Maybe the broom to closet. You, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> it seems very suspicious. I want the broom closet ending. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> Screw he you, dude! He got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Screw this guy! <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. I'm not Please leaving the broom closet. Please remove corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I will not, good sir. I will not. And yes, this game is called The Stanley Parable. Oh, I think the narration is finally over. 
Hey, Tag Community, I finally quit my job for hopefully a better job. I want to say thank you for the good times. Ah, Skylar, congratulations. That is awesome. All right. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person <laughs> who came before you. Oh, that's just rude. I was doing pretty good. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, we'll appease the narrator for now, I suppose. I suppose we can do that. Uh, Tishy, how are you doing? Also, if y'all do find yourselves enjoying the Stanley Parable, like would be greatly appreciated, the executive bathroom. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Oh, this mirror, we can't even see ourselves. Intriguing. Oh, the door closed. Not disconcerting whatsoever. That's where it wants us to go, but what's in here? Nothing. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. But I know it now. So 2845. We've got some shanti there. Wait, but where am I supposed to put this pin in? Can't touch the briefcase. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. There's nothing there. There's nothing. Th oh. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly stupid. opened passageway. Not at all. Not one bit. This is, uh, rather disconcerting. It's very dark in here. Boop. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, can we go back up? Whoops. <laughs> nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley <laughs> actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. The narrator is going to very much hate me by the end of this. Does it, in fact, go back to the boss's office? It, it does. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. What it's a that keen dick. eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. I guess I should go back down Incredible. now. Now that now he has uh, sufficiently the insulted me. Again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Uh, Christy, thank you for the super chat. So much for going to bed early. Pretty six right now. Aw, 
I hope you feel better, Christy. I was not feeling particularly good this morning either. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Mm, I don't like that he called it spooky. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm. There's escape or I could go into the Mind Control Facility. Uh... The escape is written in red. Annalise, super happy to catch alive, just got a new job one week after being laid off. And it comes with higher pay? Oh, hell yeah. Sometimes it takes bad things to have good things happen. I ain't escaping nothing. Ain't nobody controlling this brain. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh. Escape is what I would be doing? Nah. Ain't nobody controlling this brain. Not the narrator. Not this giant creepy machine. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each oh. bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. That's and terrifying. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, that's just fan freaking tastic. Hey, which one's mine? I wonder if I'm still at my desk. What was my number? 473? 473? Was that my number? Or 437? It definitely wasn't that one. 37 would be over here. I'm 427, so I would be over there. 427, I'd be right there. Okay. I'm not still at my desk, so that's good. Ah, oh, Tay Tay, have a wonderful day. This mind control facility. Oh, thank it was you, Jennifer. Too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Do I want to get on this? No. I guess so. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wait, why was that one called Wasn't Pirate? it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh, Christ. So but dark. was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm poking all. buttons. I ain't dismantling nothing. I'm touching all the buttons. All right, offline. What is this one? Console disabled. So. There's one, two. Do I have to hit them in order? One. Two. Mike Gardner, thank you for the super chat. And then there's a button all the way up there. And a set of very, very dark stairs. The game is awfully dark. Uh, subtitle background, player data, video. I guess I can't brighten it up. Hmm. That doesn't bode well. Like, I know there's a set of stairs there. I just can't for the life of me. See the stairs? 
be the stairs? Maybe I have to just believe I'm the stairs. Or are they like blocked off? I think they might be blocked off. Really hard to tell. Definitely a set of stairs going down into the red scariness. Just a guy named Adam. Well, hello. Mind control idol awaiting input. On? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his On? obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on or off? <laughs> Yolanda, thank you for the 22 months, and Adam, thank you for the 16 as well. Taking a little break from work? Oh, hell yeah. So we got one for on, two for on, three, four. Oh, y'all want some on. Oh, stab me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Of course they I did. After you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Hell yeah. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so hey, much Hey, Rebecca, that how are you doing? Do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency oh, detonation come on. system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA oh, identification, come on. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. I don't believe him. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, oh. um, two minutes. I don't believe him. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy. Oh, wait, are the lights Near on in here now? Until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. Ooh, ooh, More time ooh, to buttons. talk about you, about me. Oh, there's Where a freaking green play? light now. What all this means. I oh, that gate's open. Start. One, What's two. That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace. Go to the broom closet. All right, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> to the broom closet. Away. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Four. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Where's of three? Course, that was merely in this. Oh my god, it's all the way the over there. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, One, swallowing everyone two. inside, or I let it burn to a Oh, ground. why is there no sprint button? I say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back Five, the control wrested three? away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go okay, around we got will this. be even better. Three. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Oh, you shut know what? up! The hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Oh, thank you. Not. These More. are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, There's dear, no such thing as three. Matter, three is a lie. Is it LJ, thank you for no the 23 idea, months, you wonderful what bean. To be doing right now. Or did, did you, you do something with the codes on the wall? I have no idea. That something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Shut well, maybe up! this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would One. You think that, Stanley? That this ah. video game can be beaten? What? One solved? Do you what? have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for oh, quite no. a disappointment. But here's a spoiler. Five! That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. 
This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's Two? fine. But I'm going to destroy Failure. it first. So Goodbye, you employee 427. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end. Oh, 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 they closed the door. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Uh, Another choice. Oh, Make no. It or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in <laughs> until the moment I say happily ever up. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't go very well. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, and we're back. Back in the room again. We go hang out in the broom closet again just to piss him off more. Got clapped. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, we don't need to hang out in the broom closet anymore. Touching buttons is when Stanley bad? came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door. This was not the correct way to the nope. meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I'll Perhaps he you. wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Can I open any of these? Nope. Oh? No. Dang it. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Do everything to it piss him off? It has been oh. worth the detour oh, after I will. all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It's kind Stanley of simply room. stood here, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did I, though? No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's oh, incredible it he wasn't fired years ago. Five clicks on door 430. What? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I don't think I was lying. Ooh, we need a key card for that. Maybe? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. But what I realize I that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh, can I jump Please, down to that? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Not Are today, you that homie. Convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give I me don't a believe you. 2B1, you keep closing doors behind me? God dang it. I wish I could jump. I feel like the inst- like the- No- Is that a drink? No slushies specifically past this point? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley, in fact, did not walk through the red door. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's not out today, there? Home you Skillet. To find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen. Well, don't let me stop you. Uh, I'm, f I'm full of regrets. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because oh, you were that's just to rude. In the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Dinosaurs, dude. Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Are we about there to die? we go. A third Son option. of a! This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Gone this way. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for yes. some real critical feedback here. It a hundred percent made it better. Wait a second. You know what? Screw this guy. No, wait. If I rated it a one, it would make him feel like he was right. But if I rated a five, then I'm right. And I'm uh -huh. right. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your that backfired. I really couldn't say where the idea Kit came Namie, from. Kit Namie, thank you for, this, for becoming I a member again. Welcome soul. back. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> In total, that's a lot of doors. Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. Hey! That's just messed up. Screw you and your blue door now, hatred. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, no. In this game, what? the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting but the But what demands happens if I let the life. baby burn? I think the art world will really take notice. What happens but if the course, baby burns? The message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Wow! Did it just fart? Stop farting, you stinky baby! Burn! You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so <laughs> awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's Watch give it, it be a like shot. Duck Hunt or something. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. What? Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. <laughs> Why? Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. National Force of... This is... Do they really let you play Firewatch? I don't I've never played Firewatch. But I was like, this looks really familiar when I logged in. Or when I when, I, when it loaded up. Oh no. 
No, 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 it can't be. I mean, it it's is pretty. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Screw you! Oh, goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that that thing. That big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. <laughs> Doesn't that like it. Woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Aww. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <sighs> I thought we could squeeze through there. <laughs> okay. I he knows we love open world exactly. The thing. It's our kind of game. Wonderful. See, this really? Is exactly what I had in mind. Just a <laughs> Rocket nice League? Box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get <laughs> lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Oh, that grass isn't as nice as I anticipated. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Wait, are you ser- Are you serious? Stanley gets the ball? Stanley- <laughs> I think he likes the red door, so I'm gonna shoot the ball into the blue door. Right? We're going full team blue today. Full Are team you blue. It? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it oh better my than God. my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. How many balls? Here comes another ball. Um, how many balls? Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery nope. shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Nope. More balls. Nope. Nope. Not playing. Not touching your balls. Not doing it. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? No. Nope. Are you having fun? No, I'm not. Is this a real video game? No. Nope. Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun what? comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Screw Stanley, you, narrator. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Damn it. Oh, 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 it's my story. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, this isn't good at all. Can we get in there? 427 or 425? <gasps> Are we going back home? Four two seven, baby. What's going on in here? What do what doth I do? There's like cameras in there. Can't close the door. I can't jump. Hmm. 
There's nothing to touch. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's Should have touched the balls, that's what he said. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Can I Very even... soon. I can't move. I can wait. It's just blackness. What? What? Oh, I was doing so good. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's music this time, though. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't like that I ceased to exist. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> if I just wait, does he ever do anything? So how is how's y'all's day doing? Y'all's day? Did y'all do anything good for your moms yesterday? Yesterday? It's Tuesday on Sunday. <laughs> he doesn't want to know what goes on in the broom closet. He really doesn't want to know what goes on in the broom closet. <laughs> Happy y'all's day, everyone. Oh, there's got to be something I can touch in here. Ah. I don't think he's going to do anything if I stay in there. I want Coming to. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Not today, home skillet. What does this say? Is that a cat riding a bicycle? Zoom in! Enhance! I want to read what it says. <laughs> Alright, what happens if we go back to the clock? Dang it. Nothing happens if we go back to the clock. But Stanley here? just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he mm. was crazy. Wanna and then touch something all the occurred things. to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None One, of two, B, four. Sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't mm. be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his oh. tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm ah. dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, ah. an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. 
He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock. To I don't Stanley. know what's going on. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and <laughs> make the magical stars just a moment ago? How Maybe else I would the voice moving. explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Oh yeah, absolutely, Let me go back museum. To my job. Absolutely. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Just Please. need a bowl of petunias. That's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I, I, I don't think I'm okay. I'm pretty sh God dang it. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh my. And everything went black. Uh, and then everything this was, was not fine. Of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, who the hell is Mariella? And walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. At I am in control of my mind. At least Mariella I feels better. real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her Hey, life. Marielle. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Well, that was an interesting ending. Tag suffers for our amusement. This, at the very least, deserves a like. Hit the like button, people. Thank you. I have loved the stars too fondly. Thank you very much. So let's see here. It is 11.21 and 35 seconds. I don't know if that matters. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan it? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Don't threaten me with a good time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of oh, witnessing no. true effort. For RM! Cause. 42 indeed. Will do it. Yes, 50! Certainly 50 clicks. All right. I'm not counting. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. Oh, I want to see piss off, hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. Oh, piss a off. To go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? What if I did 50 here? All right, 417 it is. It's 437. 420. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Had to try, right? Had to try. 417. Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. I swear to God. Is this ever going to end? Four th 437, okay. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. That's, did he say 415? Now, back to door number 437. He's trolling me. I can feel it. I can feel it in my lo loins. Wait, 437? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? It's obviously trolling me, but I want to see where it goes. Same. I just, I just turned off a computer. Didn't know I could do that. All right, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling <gasps> it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, four one seven it is. Wait, four one seven. 416. Where's 417? There it is. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. I have not seen a door labeled 419. 4B3. Alright, 420. Four one nine. Wait, this is the same desk that I uh that I turned the computer off on. Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. What a dick. Input received. Who farted is the mug on the desk? <laughs> So I got an achievement called You Can't Jump, which is just rude. But I want to know... What's going on with these computers? Because something's definitely happening with these computers, right? Like, I'm not just losing my mind. Or am I? I don't know. Because some can be interacted with and some can't. What is this game? 
Hello, Herbo Turbo Burbo Freaking Licious. What it do? Uh, how was Orlando? It was really, really good, actually. It was very good. When Stanley came to a set Same thing with the Galactic Star Cruiser. Amazing. On his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, oh. just to admire it. We're going the other way, but we're not wow. going to fail yes. this time. This room. What a beautiful room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, no, I didn't. Stanley did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I um, realize what happens if I jumped all the way down, though? Can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Like, what's in that There's truck? someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Okay, we just need to Look, not get trapped to this time. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. You know what? Stanley walked through the well, red door. Yeah. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Nope. Stanley sure didn't. through the red door. Blue door for life, baby. Communicating properly. Stanley walked through now the red we'll go through the red oh, door. Thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, oh, no. We would both be so no. much happier if we just stopped. I'm trapped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. LJ, thank you for the super chat. And Erbo, this is the Stanley Parable is what it's called. Mm. Yeet. <laughs> and hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Oh, I can't back up. Space? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel... No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> you don't get to be happy. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. Oh, hell we'll lose yeah. all of this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's Please, go, let's go, no, let's go, Stanley, let's go, let's go. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. What the hell is this? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Ah. Uh... I don't want to die right now though. What? I don't want to die right now. No! Oh, I'm alive. Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away oh God, from me. This is I so can't dark. Go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Oh my God. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Oh, he's getting so sad. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? But you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? You are, buddy. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Yeah! 
Well, this hey, one come is on. yours. Oh. Am I gonna die through realsies now? What if I go back, but now that he knows that I'm willing to kill myself to get out of his strange games, maybe then I'll get a choice, right? Because I don't want to die. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? Oh, why is everything red now? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, he took my- wait. He doesn't think we can be happy together now. <laughs> Which is a little disconcerting. Oh, nice, Teresa. So one more yeet and I get just yeetus deletus? Maybe he'll put me into a new, like, simulation thing? I don't know. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? Oh no! I'm going back. Oh my god. We did kill How ourselves. Wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and I want to go all the way down to the bottom this time. The meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. The I want to get down to those time. to those oh, well, trucks gosh. down at the bottom. What but eager so I'm genuinely curious. Stanley I don't think there's a good way through the red and blue doors left. that I'm aware. Of. I mean, I could go that way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I don't know if there's a safe way down. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I went well. Momo, how are you doing? All workers were gone. What could I it hope mean? you've been well. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly not well. Not doing it. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now I'm wondering if there is a room, way to progress Stanley through the, the blue doors. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I actually kind of want to know what's on the other side. Like, if I do stay on that lift the whole way, well, like, wh so what happens that way? Directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone Museum, else Museum, thank you for the, uh, for the, the turd. The fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Loving this game, very funny There's to listen to. Got some great news. I got elected to a district councillor last week. I hope you keep my- Hope Please, I can keep my name. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. The governor? Now, me, the district councillor? Congratulations. Cheers to you. This is it, Stanley. And your thank you for the 37 to months. Yourself, to put your work aside. Oh, B1. To let her back into your life. Wait, who the hell is She's her? She's been waiting. It's speaking the Queen's dialect.
That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. I don't want if to. If you can truly place your faith in another. Oh. oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> you actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Oh, we Music could have been happy. In, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None I of could these have decisions been free. were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? Honey? What did you... Wait a second. Did Honey? Did see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety negated protocol what? for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment. Oh, so come we can on. you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh, no. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Are you serious? Choice. Oh, my God. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? What? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought. Hey, this this has uh, why you implications on life right now. Turn to a partner and practice saying, People My arguing goodness. with bots and Is stuff. I'm supposed to be having a back sack Ooh. and crap. Paprika. Thank you for the year. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Fair enough. Okay. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. <laughs> now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. We're this gonna unplug way, the please. phone again, right? We're gonna unplug the phone again, right? Oh, it's blocked in so I can't now that we know your choices are meaningful we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story that story would make no sense at all we just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse unfortunately it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality oh there's a door over there can I go through said door? No. I can't open any of these yet. I can't believe they freaking baby-proofed my suicide jump door, though. Wait a second, am I backtracking all the way back? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, piss off! 
Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps oh we're not too God. late. <laughs> Whoa! Things are getting crazy now, baby. Let's go! <laughs> you underestimated me, foul narrator. Oh, it's not going to let me do it again. Now I have to go left. Wait, what if I close the door? Can I go back farther? Oh. Oh, now I have to. This is BS. Gosh diddly dang it. Man. Never go left. Throw a chair? I'm about to throw something. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think Everything. was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. Oh, I'll no. have to live with it forever. Oh, Reliving no. its impossibility oh, forever. No. I couldn't oh, live no. that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No. To willingly destroy all of my work? No. I don't know. No. What's the answer? What do no. I do? What do Let I me do? What do I, I don't want to die. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. No. No! thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you you're a child. How oh, dare you, sir? My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You underestimate me, sir. No! Why did you do that? Oh. Quickly, hurry back. ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Once again, with feeling! No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Screw you, I'm narrator. Sure I do what I want. The task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh. 
thought I could tease him and tease my way into the left door and then go back out. Clearly, that was not an option. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let me in the broom closet. He freaking locked the broom closet. What a dick. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All of my other options have been removed. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, the panda with a gun to its head. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Dang it. I think I have to. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Wait, do I actually have he to say it? He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Hmm. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show I just you, got then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could Again. have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. <laughs> Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? What? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. They it cannot exist without you. <laughs> what you kind of ending is this? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. I think can I won. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. <laughs> I need the this. The story needs it. So. I think I won. You know, Cheers! Are you there? That's how you win a game. I guess. I guess. There's like I forget how many endings there are, but there is a okay, large know. number of endings. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Pretty sure I won though. As much time as you need. Stanley's never going to leave. He's never going to move. Okay. Well. Okay. Already this was uncomfortable. 
and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. The broom closet. You trying to trick me with this new content door? I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? <laughs> what does it mean indeed? Is this just a Disney ride? What is going on? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens <laughs> and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special <laughs> oh my yet, God. but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I like that the narrator is also confused as to what's going on. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, oh, there we, there go. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Which way do we go out? That way or that way? Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. <laughs> Give me the content, Stan. I can jump? All right. All right, let's see it's the jump circle. I can jump! This is amazing! Best new content ever made. I've been wanting to jump this whole freaking game. I used up all my jumps. I, I can't jump anymore. <laughs> Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm gonna cry. I just wanted to jump. Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial what? impressions of this God game are not it. positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Imagine how useful a jump would have been for ascending desk 419. Exactly! What?! That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, you see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find this is some these BS. people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <laughs> oh, it's my fault, Stanley. 
I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? No, 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 no. Do I get my we'll jumps try back? To get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh, do I get the jump? Still can't jump. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's super weird. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want oh. to show you something! This is how you die. I don't like this at all. Oh, coffee nut? Did I just die? No, oh, okay. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. What the hell is this? I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the Memory Zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before oh it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> I love this. The memory zone temp. Oh my God, the old Steam page. <laughs> the good times. The first dollar. I wonder if this is actually a picture of the first dollar that they made. That'd be interesting. Smile because it happened. Oh my god. Go outside, don't play for five years. It's impossible to get this achievement. New video game releasing today. Creator surprisingly down to earth. Oh, I got that one. That was me. Not so long ago. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. Don't James read any reviews. Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original sushi? Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk. I'm trapped in here and I don't like it. New elevator content. <laughs> mm. Going down in this game has never gone well for me, but I am endlessly curious. 
How do I go farther down that way? Person of the year, Stanley. Oh my god. What? What the hell is going on? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. The Serious Room 2013? Of course I can't get in there! Dang it. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? <laughs> the oh, no. Steam Review oh, Junkyard. No. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I oh, at these, these are going to get good. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Oh, sure. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room. Unfunny! To Never! Never! Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like Aww. I let these people down. Poor narrator. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I don't want to go this way. I want. I don't want to go in the water. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happened. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Oh, shoot. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive oh, reviews oh, oh, of the oh, Stanley oh. Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. <laughs> Wait, what? Do I just walk on the board? And here it is. Go ahead and give it... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, <laughs> but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of un... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The Keep minute I start to go off again. on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your finger. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount it's of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. 
Is the Stanley, clock actually changing? It Stanley, is changing. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh, you're no. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> oh, my God. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. The plants weeks. died and everything. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting If I do it again, I'm going to die. A person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've... I gave him a chance. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been... <laughs> to the future! Is he gone? <gasps> Did he die? Oh, that can't be good. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. He's still reading now. bad reviews. Is there anything behind it? Nope. I guess he's not dead. The end is never 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 the Hello I don't like that you're not talking to me anymore. It was funny when we started this, but it's not funny anymore. What the... F what the hell happened? Choices do have consequences. All right, more button it is. What the hell? Listen to the beautiful music. There's freaking berries. Two-dimensional berries, but berries nonetheless. What happened? Button. Oh, don't like that sound. Holy Jesus. How long has it been? Oh. Freedom! Sweet, sweet freedom! Is there gonna be like a mirage? Where do we go? It's Tatooine. Was that the end? Oh, piss off. I want to get eaten by a worm or something. Okay, I can't jump. There's no new content. Oh my god. It's hell. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... What in the world have I walked her. into? Hello, Duddas! Oh. It's the new new content. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley <laughs> knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee want. lounge first, just to admire it. The end is, in Stanley fact, never the end, him. ladies and gentlemen. Butterflies in his stomach. But we should have done the new new content, but... Stanley took the first open door on his left. Can't tempt me like that. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, red Stanley, door it is. We're going through the red door this time. Here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration Red for others? Are you that door. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on. on your side. Give me the red door. Give it to me. Now listen carefully, this is important. I wonder if he's going to actually give us a good ending if we go through this door. Like, I don't know. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really I have to trust him to be happy all this time? I'm gonna the fully is trust. Choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? It took me a I little just, too long to realize to that I got screwed again. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Oh, I and stopped. I think, well, I, think I, have I have stopped. I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Gonna go to the pretty sparkle place again. Misty Davis, thank you for the 25 months. Mm. Hell yeah, there with the want? rainbow corgo. What are we looking for? Hmm. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Sometimes if we stay. Like, it feels pretty nice in here. Like, I like this. Also, ladies and gentlemen, gifted subs tomorrow. Finally. Ooh! Finally unlocking gift subs on YouTube tomorrow. It's so pretty. What happens if I walk off the edge? Sparkles, sparkles, all the sparkles. It's the good stuff. I kind of want to see what happens if we do stay here, but I'm really tempted to run off the edge. And tempted means I shall do it. <gasps> oh, it doesn't let me. That's just rude. No, wait, where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. Okay, I don't want to die. all of this. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But I have good, to die. Good, We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay here. But... Are you serious? I have to die? No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I don't you hurt me die. before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley. Yeet. No! <laughs> oh. Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, 
Can we please get back to the other room? There. See? This is what you want. Is it though? This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay. I'll stop moving. What happens if we do that? Am I supposed to like take mushrooms or something now? Like just hang out? It's kind of pretty. It's relaxing. Not even gonna look around. I will I will be the mushroom. So it's repeating this again. What happens if I move? Begin the game again? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I think we overdosed. <laughs> Something happened. I'm not doing the new, new content yet. I haven't done the old, old content yet. We have never gone when to the Stanley other side of the right side, and open I feel like that's what we should do. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. You were supposed to be jumping Perhaps off the top? To I can't. I tried already. First, just I tried multiple... It. Well... I did the, the jumping off the top one already. Majestic. Perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Your mom's through that open door on the left, and I ain't going. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't. I'm gonna go to the other side. Ago. We haven't done that yet. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking Aha. if this is it, Stanley. Your chance to I just want to answer the phone. To put your I didn't answer the phone last time. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, hello. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Is this a good ending? Oh, no. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. I oh, bet you're pulling right. something out of the oven. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? What they a want to commit their life dick. To you. I'm trying what to make a, a point dick. here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going oh, on Oh, piss off. Sorry. But you're in my story now. Oh, the dick. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 427. Press G on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has oh. a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh, what a dick. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Wait, what happens if now I press a different button? A button? Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press Q? What about A? What about W? Tab? But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. 
From behind his desk, Stanley <laughs> drew really the wild Stanley expeditions now? into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. <laughs> and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Come here. My cat is screaming at the door. I'm trying to get him and to... so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. There we go. Press you to spend time with the boys. With the boys. Let's go, Aragon. So he went further. He imagined We're gonna that he go came see to the two boys. open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful he did not want to, to be held. Behold. Press L to prepare dinner? God dang it. As he wandered through this fantasy world, what the hell? he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it a game with the a Stanley baby? Parable. Wait a second. We made the game? We it are the game. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Sure. So we are Stanley and we are the narrator? Path. Mustn't it be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly oh, be? Oh, In reality, no. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Presses K to go to sleep? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains oh, no. here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press Q to question nothing. Oh, I'm gonna question all the things. What happens if I just do nothing? It's like 10 hours later. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please Stanley die? Button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Well then. We died. All right. That's fine. Didn't want to die. Didn't want to live. I guess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you all enjoyed the first playthrough of The Stanley Parable. Uh, Deluxe Edition, with the new new content. We only did one of the new content, but if y'all did enjoy this and you want to see more, like would be greatly appreciated. Uh, maybe we'll stream some more of it this week. Um, I do have a couple other games that I want to play. Obviously, we've been playing the Traveler's Rest. Um, tomorrow, the update for the gas sta or the DLC for Gas Station Simulator releases, um, which I think is called Can Touch This, which we're going to be playing that. And then I feel like there was something else this week as well. But I can't remember what it was. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me, you wonderful humans. 
Hope you all have a fantastic night. I'll see you all in the next one.